leave your comments down below if you have a pair of Ricky pants. Just curious. Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. Saturday morning here. Welcome to Life with Belsif. I'm your host, friggin' Belsif. Well, we got the going to town rig almost friggin' done we do. Look at the interior, Jim. Tell me that don't look absolutely mint. We got behind the seat done. Just gotta put the seat belts in underneath the seat, which we can do after. I forgot about that, actually. We should uh, do that soon. Might have to unbolt them to do that. I might have them backwards. I think they might have to go the other way, Jim. Yeah, we might have to take them out and spin them around and stick them through. Friggin' right we will. But look at that. Looks pretty good back there, doesn't it? Tell me the truth now. Don't lie. The seat is absolutely beautiful, boys. You know, like this thing is just plush. I did order a new stereo for this stereo hole. I was gonna look for one of those vintage ones, but everybody says they're junk. So I'm just gonna put a regular stereo in here. We got the four wires for the RCAs. Look, I got four in one, Jim. Four in one skin. Not four skins. One skin. Got the old pods done. Painted the old going to town pull knob there. Let the old Vanarewski in, resealed it. So it should be pretty good. Can you see it up there? Probably not. There it is. Got that one done, died. I dyed that one in the truck because it's a little bit of a pain in the ass. But other than that, just waiting for a slider here. My God, let me tell you what. Is this seat ever comfy? Friggin' right it is. We're almost done. Look at that. Look how those six spines fit in there. Look at You think it was made for that. You know how good they're going to sound right there? You're going to be able to hear them no problem. I did that with my other rig. I had the six spines there. And they sounded really good. They did. Very right, right they did. But I got the tailgates in my truck. It's too heavy to do by myself. I've got all the doodads and whatnots and everything else is repainted. As you see here, this is all repainted. So we did a little satin black on that. Eight careful. So that should be nice. Didn't bother painting that because it's going to get looked at anyways. Got the door panels off. They're pretty rough. I'd like to order new ones, but like I said, I got to ease up on the Kasharuski. So we'll sand these down and dye them. I want to put a little trim piece in here that's black. So it matches the trim piece in the dash, if you know what I mean. So it kind of flows right on through. Nothing like a flow job. Friggin' right. Still iffy on the headlighter. I don't know if I'm gonna do the headlighter or not and that stuff. I think I'm just gonna leave it for now. It looks fine. The way it is, down the road we'll redo it. Forgot to paint these brackets on the seat. That's kind of bugging me. How did I forget that? I know this is a little wrinkly, but hopefully that will come out in time. That's hard to get those wrinkles out, Captain. That really pisses me off. Why didn't I paint that? Look at it. Looks like dicks. I'm gonna be painting that. I dyed these. They look a little better. They look pretty rough, and the seat belts are dick. Almost need new seat belts, but I just dyed them to make them look a little better. But they're dicked. We need new seat belts. That's next year. We should shut off the blue, the blue lights here, Jim. We gotta drain the battery. We are. But we'll shut that for now. And there's the the seat and whatnot, and it looks decent. Drop spindles are coming for the front. Get it down, and then we'll go from there. I know you guys are gonna say leave it alone, but man, oh man. I like them slammed, I do. Oh, did I mention that I got a new rubber for the back? Look how good this rubber fits. It's cut exactly for this box. I wanted carpet in here, but they didn't make one for it. So I just ordered that mat, and that mat is mint. Heavy friggin' duty. Got some new little pull knobs there. I'm gonna put some Ford pull knobs on the door. So for all you Ford guys out there, there you go. There's the paint that's on this truck. Toyota, blue. Got some left too. Friggin' right we do. There's a dye I'm using, if anybody wants to know what kind of dye I used on my door panels and stuff, that's it right there, the old VHT. Get the buffer out. Look at all the shit on this bench again. That's what happens when you're working hard on something. You just make a mess. But it's not very nice out today. It's kind of cocked over today. That's why I'm kind of hiding in the garage right now. We gotta go out though and get some Christmas shopping done. Look at it out there. Ew. What happened? It's a little snowy today. Leave your comments down below, let me know what you think of this. I'm thinking about just driving this truck this year with this engine in it, because it runs. I'm just gonna power wash under there and drive it for a summer. Maybe at the end of the summer, we'll pull her apart and put the engine in. I just wanna drive it. I just, I know it's just a quick swap job, but you know, the drive shaft's gonna have to be redone. We're gonna have to get all the bugs worked out. It's just, I don't know, I just wanna drive it. I wanna enjoy it for one year first. Leave your comments down below, let me know what you think of that. I know you're all gonna say it's easy, just change it, but it costs money to do an engine swap, no matter what, even if you have everything. And the truck runs, it's just tired. So why not just cruise it around town, take it to town, and just have a little cruise this year, and then maybe halfway through the summer, when I'm, uh, you know, the Minovities while are off, we'll, uh, we'll do the engine swap together. That's what I'm thinking. I wanna know your fucking comment. I wanna know your thoughts. Am I even recording? I am. Well, I'll be dipped.
as my script garage would say. But other than that, that's what I'm doing right now. Like I said, I've been working on the truck, exterior and interior. Leave your comments down below. I should have the head unit in next week. So leave your comments down below and let me know if you want to watch the stereo install of that and then we'll crank her and see what she sounds like. I don't even know if this amplifier works. Mr. Shorty gave me there, but we're gonna have to find out. He says it does, but you never know, okay? That's what happens when you give them gim to you. They could work and they could not work. What do you think, Bill? Let me know down in the comments below, why wouldn't you? But we got my hot wire friggin' breaker here that we gotta put in for the battery. So we got that, we got the RC, we got everything. Just gonna get the head unit in and fire her up, Captain. But we're gonna go to Walmart, and I think when I'm going to Walmart, I'm gonna wear my Ricky, Ricky pants to Walmart because they suit Walmart, Ricky pants do. Leave your comments down below if you have a pair of Ricky pants. Just curious. They're pretty comfy, they are. The only problem is they give you butt crack. They like to fall down, they do, especially as you get older and you get no ass anymore. You know, your ass gets really flat, and then it doesn't matter how tight you put your belt, you still get ass crack. Yeah, they kind of do that all the time. And I got them tight as they go. I don't know what to tell you. I got no ass, that's what I'm telling you. I think that's about all I can tell you. I was telling you about the tailgate. I kind of think got sidetracked. But anyways, the tailgate's in the back of my other truck because you know, I'm not gonna use this as a truck. So it's in the other truck, but it's a two man job to put that tailgate on. It weighs so much. And I don't wanna hit the nice painted bumper that's sucked in real nice and tight to the body and finished off and shortened. Oh my God, did I ever tell you that? Look at them bumpers. Frig. They're decent. But anyways, I don't want to scratch the bumper or the tailgate putting it on. And it's heavy because it's a roll tailgate. It doesn't have that little, huh. Mike did a real nice job on it. So we don't want to hit anything. Dad was going to come out today and I was going to do it, but he's not coming out now. So it's all good because he doesn't like to drive in the snow. What else can I tell you? Not much. I got lots of blue skin now for the cars though. I got to finish the Silverado too. I had a dream last night that I stole the wife's key and bought her a new car. That's a nice dream to have. I gotta get that done too. It's got some rusty start on the old Kia Ruski there and we gotta get that stopped before it's too late. Or, you know, we just burn the car and call the insurance company and then, you know, get a new one. Now, you know I'm not gonna do that now because I just told everybody. Frank, I haven't had one insurance claim on my policy ever, so. Hey. Eh? I'm allowed to say that, I am. Still got the friggin' Metals for the, the Silverado up there for the old box sides that I haven't even done yet. Remember I told you I was gonna do that about five years ago? Was it five years ago? Maybe a year and a half or so ago. Oh, one other thing. Let me know if anybody's looking for rallies. I got eight and a half inch rallies, 15 inch. I got brand new center caps for the rallies because then I ordered before I th thought I was gonna buy rims. So these center caps are brand spank. Now they are not the steel ones. They're not, they're not the, you know, those kind up there, but they are new and they're nice and shiny. So if anybody's looking, and I do have the rings, they're over there. I have mini rings and new centers. Might want to sandblast, get a few coats of paint on, not too many, just a couple. But if you know anybody looking for some rallies, let me know. Probably let them go for 400 bucks. Rallies are pretty expensive, especially when I got 100 bucks in the centers. So I need 400 bucks for all four. Uh, that's the way she goes. But leave me a comment down below, let me know how you're doing. I always like to hear how you guys are doing. I'm glad you're all here. Welcome any new subscribers to the channel. This is an update on the old uh, 87. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know what you think about everything I talked about just now. And if you didn't hear what I talked about just now, just reverse a little bit and listen to what I talked about so you can answer what I'm, like, I'm asking you. That's about all I can tell you. But love you all, until next time. You don't want to do for now.